All right, I'm Beth the Builder, and now I have a chainsaw. Uh, name that movie reference. Okay, so I have all the protective material. I have the recommended chainsaw chaps. They are camo because that is the cheapest color there was. So I don't care about that. I have some gloves, have eye protection, ear protection, big old fancy steel-toed boots. We got it all. We're just gonna practice some stuff. So I think I'm gonna do a bird, like an owl, you know, cause I've said that I wanted to do that on a bigger scale and now I can. This is not a fancy chainsaw. So if you want to help me get a better chainsaw, I guess check out my Patreon, but I am not assuming that anyone will do that because this is gonna at least get me started. It's corded, so it's quieter. You know, I live in town, so people could get weird about that. I would probably be one of those people if someone was out chainsawing like eight hours a day i would be like what are you doing <laughs> so it's it's definitely quieter and it was not expensive so you know take that with a grain of salt i am aware this is not expensive so this is a 9 amp 14 inch sun joe is the brand it's on the bar so sun joe they make like i don't know well, they're green, first of all, so they're eco-friendly maybe or something. Even though I've never used a gas-powered chainsaw, I definitely think that they are gonna be better. They're, they're usually metal and they just have more heft to them as well as like, I don't know. I just don't think you can beat the little gas motor, I guess, especially not battery powered and maybe corded would come like second, I guess, which is fine. I'm not knocking this sort of thing because especially if like i eventually do get a better uh gas powered chainsaw like this is great for like you know it's small it's light it's shit <laughs> and it's great for just like clearing up some branches chopping up some firewood etc so yeah sun joe 14 inch bar um it's just what came with it and i figure that will get me started you know i'm just gonna have to practice and stuff which feels intimidating honestly because it's something i haven't used before this i remember my dad had a big old chainsaw and he like very rarely used it and it like freaked me out as a kid i think mostly it was like the sound like i didn't like being surprised by like suddenly there's like a super loud noise and i'm like a few feet from it but this is definitely quieter it's not super heavy it's, it's not a huge bar and i would say you know for like an average homeowner like this is probably the way to go you don't need anything super giant you don't need you don't need anything super expensive and then you don't have to mess around with like mixing oil and gas etc so which is kind of nice i have noticed it's it's maybe a little bit of a bar oil hog but we'll see i mean i don't i mean i'm a noob so like what do i know but i know about like tools and shit like i know things anyway so i've scavenged some various logs from our local brush site it's just a place people drop off like leaves and grass clippings and logs and etc so i've gone over there and scavenged through and gotten some decent sized ones these have been in my garage, so they're dry and we've had a good amount of rains. So anything I left outside is wet, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Here's a question. Is it better to carve dry wood or green wood? And I'm assuming wet wood is like, nah. I actually don't know the answer. I'm thinking greener would be softer. So I guess like, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, yeah now i have a chainsaw and we're gonna be doing that for a little while so the first time i used it i like went back inside and i was just like this is the most satisfying thing i've ever used <laughs> and i was like i totally get why like dummies who aren't prepared to do that would just like cavalierly go and just like i'm gonna use a chainsaw and maybe not be like protected and not like not understand this thing like it's very very serious and get injured so i like I had to like temper my enthusiasm of like how awesome this is <laughs> so and i'm a lady so i guess like that's that's generally an idea that goes with like boys and their toys but i this is so satisfying i can't believe it so i'm gonna try and carve an owl and then maybe i'll try and do something else i don't know we'll find out if what we can do and how long I'm willing to do this for. So I think this guy's like seven pounds. So it's not very heavy. 
I know some uh, gas powered chainsaws I did look at were not more than seven or eight pounds. So I am obviously not a physically large person. So I got to kind of work with what I got that I'm not going to be able to heft for long periods of time, like a 15 pound chainsaw. And it would be dangerous to try that. So you got to like build up your stamina of how long you could do this stuff. And I feel like starting with something smaller and then taking breaks if you need to, if you're like your arms are getting tired and stuff, um, is probably the way to go. So obviously with a cord, you know, I try and be pretty aware of like where my cords are at, um, not be a dope about it. And yeah, I feel like we're probably like off to the races. So like rock and roll, let's do it. Like vaguely bird-like yeah you know he's got a beak I kind of smoothed his, his nose out you know he's got some ears he's got a little like spiky middle here and then I uh, vaguely gave him like wings so I uh, chopped too much out of his shoulder here so then it made his head look gigantic compared to his little tiny body but maybe he's like an adolescent owl like he's still like coming into his bird shape I feel like this chainsaw kind of likes to eat up oil um, bar oil. I don't know like what a normal amount is for it to go through. It just seems to kind of like guzzle it up. So I, I, I'm not sure. But it does seem like a relatively solid little chainsaw, especially to get started. I, you know, am for like buying quality tools, but to try something, I don't think it makes any sense to spend like hundreds and hundreds of dollars and then be like, no, I actually don't even care about that. Um, 
which I didn't think that would be the case with me because I've really liked rock carving and I just had a feeling that I would really enjoy it. But again, I am not made of money, so I couldn't really justify dropping hundreds of dollars on this thing that like I am a beginner. So yeah, going with a less expensive one and then, you know, like you can, if you eventually do really enjoy it and then you upgrade, you can always just keep that one around for, you know, simple yard work and stuff like that. Um, it's not a bad thing to have around. Yeah, I would say for like kind of a first attempt with my chainsaw, I, I feel okay about it. I would like an owl to have like a bigger body, but that was just my bad of like just getting into it. I watched some of uh, Kyle Hall's tutorials about chainsaw carving and he talked about like doing wedge cuts, like everything's kind of like wedges, triangles, etc. And I was like, that's really helpful advice. So, but I, my cut was just too big. So then I could, took too much wood out and then the shape of the head that I was going for was just kind of big. So I really like, I like tried to like scale it down, but um, he's just slightly disproportionate, which is okay. So yeah, I would say, yeah, Sun Joe is the chainsaw I have. And it seems like a pretty solid little chainsaw. It had really, really good reviews across the board. So um, I would say it's, if you just need it for some yard work and maybe to get into some chainsaw carving, it's probably the way to go. Um, because then, you know, if you hate it or something, you didn't just spend like $200 or something, which again, may not seem like a lot to some people, but I don't know. I guess I'm kind of against like dropping a shitload of money on a hobby to begin with. I feel like there's ways to get into it that don't cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars and that's kind of like why i got the cheaper rotary tool i didn't know um and it's served me pretty well especially now with the upgraded flex shaft it's like so solid it's great and i really just got it out to just like kind of put some eyes in to just kind of give it like a little bit of extra detail so that i could you know show you like so that it looks like it's like looking at you you know so yeah i'm not like gonna suddenly be amazing at this or something and that should really just be encouraging to people that like if you have an interest in this stuff all you got to do is scavenge some wood and try and uh really just number one safety first and then watch some really good videos um kyle hall is great and ryan cook is the other guy i really like his crazy energy and then of course jordy at carbon fusion because he's awesome and snarky as hell so which i love and i like all those guys are just really encouraging to kind of just like try and do the thing so i hope my practice is inspiring to people that like i don't know i haven't seen any like ladies with carving videos out there i'm sure they exist why don't they pop up for me what is that about <laughs> whatever but yeah i hope it's just inspiring to people that like you don't have to spend a shitload of money you can go scavenge some wood i don't know if other towns or cities have like brush sites that's what ours is called it's called a brush site and people drop leaves and sticks and logs and grass clippings there. And I just go there and just like scavenge stuff. <laughs> like that's where I got, like I have a base here that I'm using. I just, I just rolled this into my trailer and um, I'm just using it as a platform. So, cause I don't have a fancy jaw horse, which would also be a thing. I totally get why people have said, Jordy has said that this is a really expensive hobby and I could definitely see why he would say that. But I think to get into it, it doesn't have to cost a ton, especially if you're just kind of like, well, I want a chainsaw for yard work, but also maybe to carve some stuff, maybe getting a simpler one. The electric ones are much cheaper, um, the corded ones. The battery powered ones are not cheaper. Um, but the corded ones are, which, you know, it's slightly inconvenient to have to worry about cord, but it is quieter and lighter, cheaper, etc. So, yeah. Um, so be encouraged. I mean, this guy looks like an owl. Here, we'll get another angle from the side. He's got a beak and, you know, you know, yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't help somebody, but maybe they at least appreciate that I'm trying and I'm getting better. If you want to support me very directly, you can like this video and subscribe. Also, you can check out my Etsy shop or support me on Patreon. And so I have extra carving stuff on there. I'll have more carving stuff on there. Extra snarky Beth stuff. And then also if you subscribe to my highest tier on Patreon, I'll give you like an extra special shout out. So thank you to the people on my Patreon already. You guys are like blowing my mind that you even 
care or give a shit about me. So thank you. But I'll have a new video next week. And thanks for watching. Also, safety first. Don't forget.